What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of the Billboard Review, our regular every Tuesday series we run, taking a look at all the latest goings on in and around uh, the world of Billboard. Now, if you aren't aware what Billboard is, it is one of the uh, American chart systems uh, basically used to uh, check what's going on in music, check the sales, check the streams, all of that good stuff. Um, and they very recently, 12 weeks ago, in fact, so we're on to month number three of this chart, launched the uh, US Afrobeats chart, which is uh, very exciting. Obviously, it's great to see uh, a lot of the artists we cover here on the channel actually get their praise on the international scale um, and, of course, get their praise in America more than anything else. So that's what we're going to be diving into today, looking at all the latest goings on on this chart um, and uh, look at what tracks have gone up, what tracks have gone down, and we love to stay up to date with this. So there we go. We're on to week number 12 of this chart, and we run it every single Tuesday here on the channel. As always, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, of course, leaving a like, leaving a comment, all of that good stuff. We run uh, regular Cubcast episodes, which are all about the latest news updates, obviously reactions as well, uh, music interviews, uh, and of course, general news updates all over the place. So it's very, very enjoyable to uh, follow what goes on. Also, some live mix content, which we're going to be getting a bit more of moving forward. For now, though, we are going to jump into today's edition of the Billboard Review, starting at number 50 on the chart. You should be able to see it on the right-hand side of the page from now. Very interesting stuff. We see another new entry from Thames into this uh, top 50 ranking in at number 50, Try Me. Um, again, it's so exciting to see all the exposure Thames has been getting on this chart. She has by far the most tracks in there uh, that may actually take her up to 11 overall. Crazy. Absolutely crazy stuff. Uh, we see WizKids Joro moving down from 48th to 49th one place, and we see a re-entry for Magic's Love Don't Cost a Dime. That one uh, originally landing at number 30, and now it's down to 48th, but it's re-landed into the top 50, which is always a good thing. Uh, Skibby and Davido with a Baddest Boy uh, maintaining his position at 47th obviously that one dropping down from 11th when the chart first started 12 weeks ago and no wahala from wonder banton is now down to uh 46th from 45th we also see a uh, slight increase from uh, olamide's infinity that's up one place to 45 and we also see the official no wahala remix which does feature uh, kids daniel and tiwa savage moving uh down one more place to 44th it's been really interesting seeing that in the original battle it out for which track is the more popular overall uh, moving up to 43rd place then as High from Adekunle Gold and Davido moves up one place. Uh, Burner Boy and Wizkid with uh, Ballon d'Or moves down from 41st to 42nd and we see a two-track drop from Omar Lay's Understand down to 41st position. Very interesting stuff indeed uh, among the uh, 50 to 41st. Moving up to the next 10 on the chart then. Uh, not that much movement here. We see Omar Ope maintaining his position at 40th. That one actually debuting at number 13. We also see uh, Ginger from Wizkid and Burner Boy off of Made in Lagos uh, moved down to 39th position from 36. We also see uh, Ashe with uh, one and only in 38th, uh, maintaining his position the same as Joe Boy Sip. Um, always good to see that tune in there. That one's been in here since week one. And we also see Interference from Thames making a big jump up of six places from 42nd to 36th. Again, Thames just climbing the charts um, in every way possible by the looks of things. Uh, Dada from Young John and Davido down from 33rd to 35th. Um, we see Remmer's Soundgasm maintaining his position at 40, uh, 34th, and we also see a one uh, two-point uh, jump for Davido's fall as well. That's back up to 33rd on the week that it uh, moves behind uh, Wizkid's Essence as the uh, longest-running charting um, African tune, I think it is, on Billboard. So very interesting stuff indeed on the international charts. Uh, 32nd, we see Burner Boy with On The Low maintaining its position, and we also see Zina Liski a Loving You dropping down from 23rd to 31st. Really cool to see Zina Lisi getting that international acclaim. That one has its fourth week in the chart. So, moving up this list, we see no new entries again. I don't know how many new entries we're going to get. I'm sort of half expecting uh, one the Bantons new one to land in here sometime. I'm also expecting an official version of the Chris Brown remix of Mona Lisa to land in here as well at some point, but we will see. Um, Thames, again, dominating this section by the looks of things. She's uh, up to 30th with Crazy Things. That one uh, slowly rising again, uh, although it did debut up at 20th. We see Davido alongside the Sunday Service Choir um, with a sat Stand Strong. That one uh, moving down another five places from a 24th to 29th. That one debuting at number nine. It's its fourth week in the chart. We then get three tracks that have been in here since the start. Moving forward, Goya Menor and Neptunes. Obviously, the Amino Ama Piano remix. That's uh, up one place to 28th. Emiliana is up one place from 28th to 27th from CK. And we also see Thames maintaining her position in 26th with Replay. Uh, Fireboy DML then with Playboy. Uh, 
Uh, that one down another three places from 22nd to 25th. Uh, we also then see a double up of uh, growth from Thames, uh, moving up from 30th to 24th with Ice T. And we also see moving up from 27th to 23rd with the key as well. It's crazy. Uh, Thames's domination over this list is very, very apparent. She has the most tracks in here by a long way. I'm pretty sure she's got a track in every single section of the list, as well as numerous in a couple of sections as well. Uh, Camino alongside Phantom with Sugar Cane moving up another two places, I'm presuming. Um... This is because of the launch of the music video, which we uh, did cover here on the channel. So go and check that out on the page if you haven't already. Alongside that, Omar Lay and Justin Bieber maintaining their position at 21st. Uh, that one been in here since week one, originally starting off at number four. So there we go. Moving into the top 20 then. Another bit of movement going on here. Omar Lay's woman moving down from 16th to 20th. We also see Ye maintaining its position in 19th. That's a track that's been in this uh, sort of top 20, sort of 11 to 20 block since week Week one, the consistency is absolutely crazy, um, and that's what the type of tune is. It is a big, big tune that will stand the test of time, and it has done. So, uh, big up Burner Boy on that one. We also see Trinidad, Cardona, and Robinson with Love Me Back maintaining its position in 18th, and we also see another jump up from uh, the Mavens, Crayon, Aira Star featuring Magic's Boy Spice, uh, Ladipo, and of course, uh, Don Jazzy. I'm not sure why... Um we don't see Ladipo listed on here. However, overloading, uh, one of my favorite drops of the year. That moves back into 17th, um, or back up to 17th in its second week in the chart. That one debuted, I think, at 20th. Um, and there we go, up to 17th. Fantastic stuff on that one. Definitely deserves to be there. The uh, Sungba remix down to 16th from 14th. Asake alongside Burner Boy, of course, one of the biggest tunes of the summer. And we also see Palazzo moving down from uh, 11th to 15th. I believe Palazzo is still number one in the Nigerian Apple Music chart, if I'm not mistaken. It may have changed by now, but yesterday it was. Um, alongside this we see uh, uh, Jerusalem from Master KG alongside Burner Boy and Nomsibo Zakode moving up from 15th to 14th. We also see another slight drop from uh, Kwaku, the Traveller Black Sheriff, that one down from um, 12th to 13th, one singular drop. And we see another jump up from Thames with damages moving up from 17th all the way up to 12th. Crazy stuff on that one. Uh, Rema moving up another two places with Calm Down as that one jumps back up the charts and we then move in into the top 10, which is always a very exciting um, thing to break down. Really excited to look at this top 10, so let's slowly go at it as we move up. Found again from Thames. I cannot stress how uh, impressive it is to see how many tracks Thames has on this listing. Um, absolutely crazy the amount of stuff she has involved. Uh, featuring Brent Fires, that one maintaining its position in number 10. It's been in there since week one. Alongside that, Mona Lisa from uh, Lojay, Sars, and Chris Brown. That one dropping a place from 8th down to 9th. Um, so it is, that's the official version it is in there. Okay, cool. Now, when I first checked that, um, when I first checked it, it wasn't the remix with Chris Brown that was in there. So they've clearly renamed it, which is cool. Um... That's good to see. It's good to see that they've actually renamed it, and that's why that's in the top 10. Very, very good stuff. Uh, maintaining its position in the top 10, but dropping down at one place into ninth. You see, the reason I know that that's the case is because it's been in there for 12 weeks, and it didn't originally have Chris Brown on there because the Chris Brown remix hadn't been released 12 weeks ago. So there we go. A little bit a little bit of uh, editing going on behind the scenes, but I'm not mad at it. We then see uh, Kids Daniel featuring Techno with Booga moving down at one place. Uh, that one it has its fifth week in the charts, moving down from seventh to eighth position and then alongside this as well moving up one more finesse from Fields and Buju moving back up into seventh that has now maintained its position in the top 10 for 12 weeks um, last week it was in ninth and now it is into seventh crazy stuff um, and easily one of the biggest releases of the year the glitch Africa version of that tune is absolutely fantastic uh, do go and check out our reactions to the original and of course the um uh, glitch Africa version as well. We see a last last from Burner Boy maintaining its position at number six after four weeks. Uh, very good to see Burner Boy again very heavily uh, influencing this list. Then moving up to fifth, we see High Up from Thames again maintaining its position in fifth. That's only been in this chart for six weeks and it's gone all the way up from the uh, from the bottom all the way up to the top. Crazy. Um, Thames's domination over this list is uh, phenomenal. Two out of the uh, top well, two, two of the top 10 so far are Thames tunes at the end of the day. We then move up one more place, and I was not expecting that. CK Love Nwantiti is down out of the top out of the top two, out of the top three. It is down to fourth position, the lowest it has dropped. It's not dropped below number two yet since this chart started. CK Love Nwantiti, is this the beginning of the dissension? Is this the beginning of a uh, change of the guard at the top of this chart? Very interesting stuff indeed there. Um... 
Uh, crazy. I did not expect that. I still expected it to be the same two that have been on the top the whole way through. But that one does drop down now. Obviously, it's been in even number one or two for the last 12 weeks. It now moves down to number four. And we see Thames Free Mind moving ahead of CK with uh, Love 9 TT. Thames' Free Mind is now up another position. Look at just the domination when we look at the artwork on the left-hand side. Three of uh, three Thames track of the same project are in the top ten. Absolutely incredible stuff from Thames. Big up her reach and every time. We then see Essence finally moving up a position. This is the highest it has been. It moves up to number two on the charts on the very same day that it does move ahead of uh, Davido's Fall as the longest charting... Um I think it's the longest charting African release on the world music charts with 60 weeks. Incredible stuff. I might need to put a little vlog together on that and how incredible it is and that's an achievement. But that does mean, of course, that Fireboy, DML and Ed Sheeran's Peru maintains its position at number one on this chart. It was there last week. Um, and there we go. That's the big switch around this week. Another jump up from Thames, who now has four tracks in at that top 10 positioning. Absolutely crazy to see the domination we're now seeing from her in and around that top selection. And I do want to quickly scroll through and see how many she has in total so there's four in the top 10 uh we then see five uh there with that one yep so five moving down again six seven eight nine still just looking for Thames tunes 10 and do we have any more 11 there are 11 Thames tracks in this uh top 50 that means one in every five more than one in every five one in every um 5.5 Five, I think it would actually be something like that um, is a Thames track which is absolutely incredible what an achievement for her um, to see her absolutely dominate these charts and there we go we do see the first time one of those top two tracks has actually dropped out of the uh, top two position um, crazy and I do think what we'll see is potentially this one continue to drop and then Fireboy DML and Ed Sheeran's Peru dropping down again it wouldn't surprise me um, and it would feel slightly unjust I feel if Essence doesn't ever have a week at number one it may well get a week at number one but we do know there are a lot of big albums on the way Wiz's album's around the corner Burner's album's around the corner we know Fireboy DML has an album on the way as well so it's going to be very interesting to see how this all develops moving forward so there we go as always friends if you have enjoyed this uh, billboard review episode please make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on of course leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff and don't forget to let us know your thoughts in the comments down below are you surprised at the listing are there any tracks you are surprised that aren't in there or surprised that are still holding on I'm keen to hear your thoughts so let me know in the comments section down below that's it from me though hopefully you have enjoyed and we shall see you all next time have a fantastic afternoon and peace make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel right now corp camp tv stay locked